hi guys hey girl hey welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl diamond what up, uh? and today i'm gonna come at you guys with just a nice simple get ready with me the look is not gonna be super over dramatic or anything like that it's just gonna be nice and cool so that we can go on about our fun and get our work did or whatever but yeah so if you guys want to know what i come up with just keep on watching me Alrighty, so of course you guys already know my two favorite primers, the Rose Glow and Lumi Glotion. So I'm just going to put these on my face. Alrighty, so now that I have my primer on, I'm just going to move on to my eyebrows and put some primer or concealer on my eyelids just so that I can go ahead and get that base there stored in one of them. Well, so at first I wasn't going to talk in this video. Well, I talk in my videos. I just don't talk like a lot because I don't know, since I'm so small right now, I feel like I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> but I guess this can turn into a little chit chat here, ready with me. So, yeah. I've been subscribed to multiple different youtubers now that have been on youtube from the beginning i've been subscribed to them like it's my ray ray i've been following her since she was doing makeup in her bathroom um aliyah j i've been following her since she was still doing like um smoky eyeshadow looks like the overall ones and she didn't wear any foundation or conceal or anything like that and she was super duper super duper small and skinny um she didn't really have a lot of meat on her bones and stuff um time to infamous i've been following her since she's been in Den she, since she was in denver um <clears throat> yeah i'm following her since she was in denver and she you know was in that terrible relationship with that guy um, like there was a time, uh, video that I remember where she was like on her floor in her new apartment in Denver and stuff like that and yeah, I remember when she first met her boyfriend and she told us a story about that and how he was like a long life friend and they just always kept in contact and so now, you know, they're, um, dating and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just, I've been subscribed to a lot of people and it's sad to say that some of them have really fallen off and I don't know, it's just really sad. It's just really sad to me how they fall, some of them have fallen off and stuff like that and I get it, they're out living their life and stuff because you know, they've made it to a point where they want to make it. <coughs> It's just like, you know, they still have a following and stuff like that. And for me, when I get big enough, I don't want to be that YouTuber that falls off and stops posting and stuff like that. Like, I want to continue to post and always have content ready for you guys and always be interact interacting with you guys because it's, I don't know, like, that's the part that I'm kind of most excited about because I don't really have friends um, like that. And so I feel like once I have a nice little following or whatever, you guys are my friends, and that'll make me really, really happy, and I don't want to just leave my friends hanging, you know, I don't want to leave the people that are basically going to pave the way for me hanging, um, and stuff like that, like, yeah, when you get bigger, I feel like you don't have to post every single day anymore, but I feel like the people who do, they, like, genuinely, really love, 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 love what they do, and I want to be that person, like, I, this whole thing is an adventure and a journey for me, and <clears throat> this whole thing is new for me, so I don't want to, 
I don't want to stray away from it because I'm working so hard to try and get it where I want to be and perfect it as much as I can and I really hope that I can do that. Like I really do. Um, I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> I'm just going to blend out the concealer that's on my eyelid. It is very difficult to do makeup and talk at the same time, so now I understand. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> I'm going to my NYX Receptacle Sculpt, Sculpt in that brown color, my contour color, and just use that as a crease color. But yeah, I really believe that I can do it like my goal is to post every single day for like two years straight for two years straight every single day no exceptions no excuses like post every single day and i honestly feel like i can because i don't know like you guys can see on my youtube that i have videos from like two years ago that I posted and stuff like that and I just feel like now it feels it, it's different it feels so much different now it's like I don't go to sleep until I have my video ready to go and edit it now I make sure that I have videos ready to go my video ready to go and ready to post like I make sure that my video is uploaded before I even fall asleep at night after I um, have edited and stuff like that because I want to make sure that my content is going to be up um, at 12 p.m. in the morning or the next day <laughs> like it is honestly usually it's like that day because I record it in the morning and then edit it and then post it but I just feel like Sometimes I psych myself out. Sometimes I really psych myself out and then I'm just like, oh, I have I have this and that to do. I gotta do this and this. And I just feel like my day gets a little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes overwhelming. Sometimes and sometimes I literally just want to go to sleep and just be like, like it, like it's fine. I'm going to be using the True Naked CoverGirl Nudes Palette, or Golden's Palette, sorry, excuse me. Um, but yeah, like I just want to, I want to be able to make it, you know, not just make it in a sense of money, but I want to be able to make it in a sense of, I'm looking back and I see... <clears throat> And I see that I really did that. Like, I did not give up. I did it. And, you know, with YouTube, you know what? Not just with YouTube, but with anything. Even if you feel like you... You feel like you're not going fast enough or you want to give up, it's okay. You know? Don't give up, though. You can take a break, but always come back to it. And the same thing applies for like losing weight and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people get discouraged and get upset at themselves that um, they don't ever continue their journey. But at the end of the day, they keep going back. And they keep making sure that they're trying at different stages in their life. And that's fine. That is perfectly fine, you know? Like, you don't have to have everything figured out the first time you try it. You know, the first time you start working out or you start YouTube, you're going a, a thousand percent, you know, like you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, no one's going to be at a thousand percent on their first try. Everyone takes a break. Everyone stops. Everyone like analyzes or kind of gives up at first, but you know for a fact that it's your passion and it's something that you want to do when you continuously go back to it and you try and make yourself better and you really truly don't give up. You might take a break, but you do not give up. I'm going to take this red bottle of glow jelly and put that on my eyes.
Can I see that? That's beautiful. Alrighty, now we're gonna take my highlight in Shimmerista by Lumi, and we're just gonna put this right over top. That is dumb pretty. <laughs> that is dumb pretty. But yeah, I feel like there's too many pressures in society to be perfect and to get things as soon as you try the first time, you know, you gotta make sure that you're this, you're that, you're the standard, you're X, Y, Z. And I don't want to be a standard, you know? Like, I believe that people have their time where they're just testing out the waters and they're trying to see if this is what's for them. You know, if what they want to do is for them. It's, it's kind of like college, you know? And some people go into college and they don't know what the heck they want to do. And they just um, keep taking classes or different classes, drop them out of this and that class and stuff like that to figure out what they really want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because at the end of the day, they're making sure that they're going to be doing something or going to be in a class that they know is going to benefit them. Because if it's not going to benefit them, well then, like, what's the point? <laughs> you know? Because college is for you trying to figure out what you want to do. You pursuing a career and you getting the education in that field that you need so that you can succeed. So that you'll know what you're talking about when you go to that interview. You will know what you're talking about when you start your own business, you know? Education is very important. But yeah. I feel like people should never be discouraged or anything like that when they try and do something and it doesn't work out the first, even three, four, five times. Because at the end of the day, you know, you might give up in that moment, but if you never give up altogether, you never throw in the towel altogether, that's all that matters. You're still coming back to it, it's still your passion, and you're still trying your damnedest to make sure that you get what you want, you're doing what you want, and maybe even the next couple of times you do it, you do it differently. Because now you see what it takes. Now you see that it's hard in this and this area. And so now you know. I'm just gonna take some of the jelly and put that on my cheeks. We're gonna move on to the face. I honestly feel like people should never conform to what this world has to offer because everything in this world changes so quickly. And so you don't wanna do something it, like to yourself for example that is permanent because of what the world thinks you don't want to do that because I feel like when you get older you might regret it or you might realize that dang this isn't really what was worth it for me but I let the pressures of society get to me, you know? You don't wanna let that happen because I feel like in the long run, once you realize that, like if you allow it to happen, which we all have, and we all will, because this is the evil world we live in. <laughs> this is the evil world we live in. And people will criticize, people will talk they mess, people will try and make you feel like shit. But you can't allow them to make you feel like shit. The best thing you can do is prove them wrong. Alright, now I'm going to take my Fit Me Foundation in 360. 
<clears throat> but I honestly feel like for people that be hating and stuff like that or always have something to say about you and what you're doing and criticisms and remarks and stuff, just look at it like they're too busy worried about what you're doing and how you're trying to improve your life that they sleeping on their own dreams. They're sleeping on their own dreams. And instead of working on what they can do to better themselves and make themselves, ooh, <clears throat> Instead of working on what they can do to better themselves and make themselves happier or a better person or stronger in the field that they want to be in, they're too busy worrying about what you're doing. And because they're not focused on the task at hand and focused at what needs to be done so that they can take the steps in their life to achieve something that they want, they're falling behind, they don't even know it because you're their main priority, bringing you down to their main priority. I feel like one thing about this life is that you can never conform to what society thinks of you. You should never second guess yourself like if you're doing what you love like for the example i love makeup and for a minute i allowed myself to lose my creative a creative i allowed myself to lose my creative ability and it kind of made me feel a little bit down because i felt like I wasn't doing what I loved. I wasn't doing what I knew I could do at my full potential. You can't allow that to, or even yourself, to stop you from doing what you love. I feel like when people start to hate on you, when they see that you're doing what you really want to do and what you love, that's when you gotta go super extra hard. Super extra hard. Cause you're not about to talk about me and the fact that I'm following my dreams while you sitting there not trying to do anything with your life besides work your job, you know? If you don't invest in your dreams and yourself, then what's the point? Because newsflash, sister or mister, your child, your children, your grandchildren cannot inherit a nine to five. And imagine if they could. That was suck. That was suck balls. I know for me, when I'm thinking about where I want to be and things I want to do and stuff like that in two years, I'm not just thinking about myself. Mainly, I'm thinking about my family. Like, I think about the things I could potentially help my family members out with and <clears throat> and struggles that they will no longer have to go through once I make it because it's not an if it's once <laughs> okay once I make it like there's so many things that I can help them out with once I make it and just I know that I can be the change. I know that I can be the one to break the generational curse, to break the generational curse, if not help one of my siblings or cousins 
break the generational curse because one thing's for damn show it stops with this generation it stops with us it stops with our generation there is going to be a change not just for me for my family for my kids for my kids kids all that I just want to make sure that my family is straight and stuff like that and I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't be living to impress your parents or you should be doing things for yourself because this is your life not theirs and stuff like that but my thing is I don't do things to impress my parents yes I want them to be proud of me yes I want them to see that I'm putting in the hard work and I'm not taking no for an answer I'm not giving up you know but I also want them to know just how much I appreciate them and just how much they've helped me they've helped me become the woman that I am today I want to be able to show that appreciation and gratitude through being able to help them with things they would have never thought I would be able to help them with. For example, financially. That sounds kind of weird because I don't want to say that my parents thought that I would be broke or something like that, but you know, um, that the kids have moved on, they have their own life, they have their own bills, and I don't... Hmm. I feel like older generations feel like us kids are going to basically follow in their footsteps and that's what they're scared of. And yes, they motivate us to do our best and to go out there and get what we want and stuff like that. But they see how their kids are growing up sometimes and sometimes it's questionable and I just want them to know that I've listened and I'm doing my thing and I want them to see that I told y'all it would pay off and it's paying off. No, they didn't doubt it. No, they're not doubting it, but I just want them to know that it's okay. You don't have to worry about me in this world. I'm going to take care of you guys now. Is my L'Oreal Infallible Spray. As you can see, I've got it all over myself. <laughs> but yeah, once I get to the point of being able to help my parents financially, I've made it. Like, if I'm able to put them on my back and carry them, even if I don't have to, I've made it. Because for me, that's the ultimate goal. What better thing to do when you come up on this money or you come up in this life and gain wealth than to take care of the people who didn't even have a lot but still did everything that they could for you and still put food on the table, clothes on your back, even when it broke their pockets, you know? So yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so today I'm gonna do liner, so I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. liner and pray to God that I can get this on camera. Cause I don't know, on camera it's kind of hard for me to do highliner. Like it really is. It's difficult. It's okay. I'm gonna try. See how it just fucking escalated? <laughs> Always does this. Okay. <clears throat> I got this.
Literally doesn't matter how soft I try to do my liner. The panda always comes out the flame. Always. I already have the dual lash glue on my lashes. Y'all already know. These ones right here. And I might double them like I did last time because yes, they were dramatic. Yes, I thought I was gonna flutter away inside the wind. But they're bangers, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um <laughs> I just don't like that fucking dip on the inside of it. Really quickly, because I'm kind of OCD. I'm gonna fix this little dip that's in this eyeliner. I got the tiniest bit of concealer on the back of my hand. All right, now that we got that taken care of, because whew, child, that thing was working my soul. We're gonna go ahead and move into our highlighter. I really want to try and use this jelly on my cheeks, but I don't know if it's gonna be a flop. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be super hard to blend out. So I'm just taking my little highlighting stippling brush that I use, you know, put it on my back of my hand so I can try and get it as even as I possibly can. And hope to God, I don't mess up my makeup. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is getting ooh. you guys I've had this glow jelly for or jelly because little for so long and I've never been able to like get that to blend out like that. Like I used to ruin my makeup. But now that I know, it's a new day. Now we're gonna take some Jamarista. Only a little bit though, because that natural glow that I just put on my cheeks, that's really nice. That is some fire right there. Fire! Really quickly, I'm going to take my Wonder Lash Mascara by Rimmel London and coat my lashes because I think my lashes are almost done drying. Yeah. <sighs> Alrighty, I know that took a fleeking a long a cash cash time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but moral of the story of what I was saying was, it doesn't matter if you start late, early, freaking 10, 20 years from now, two years from now, as long as you never give up on your dreams and what you wanna do in your life. You know, you stay motivated, you always have that in the forefront of your mind because it's you, you invest in you, you invest in your time and you believe in yourself, always. But yeah, I really hope that this chit chat get ready with me video style video you guys like. I enjoyed making it to be honest. Um, but this is the final look, just something nice, cute, and simple. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked it, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and put a thumbs up, thumbs up <laughs> this video. And I will see you guys next time.